Okay, this is a very quick tutorial on um, a bouncing a ball. There's a number of ways you can do this, so um, don't think that this is the only way. And how have I actually discovered this? Well, I've gone online and I've put into um, YouTube um, videos on how to do a bouncing ball. And it's showing me a number of different ways to do it. And this is just one way to do it. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to click on Scratchy here. And um, I'd say that um, you know, we could bounce scratchy around, but we're going to try and find um, a, uh, a ball to, to, to do rather than... Um, so we're going to delete scratchy. So off he goes. We're going to find a new sprite. Uh, we're going to choose from the library, and obviously we're going to pick ourselves a ball. So let's pick this one here, just for argument's sake. So we have a ball here to bounce now. So now what we're going to do is just going to work out how we're going to make this ball bounce. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab um, one of our um, event um, control blocks and this event control block is the when click block, we should all know that one quite well. And then I'm going to grab some um, motion blocks, I'm going to grab a go to block and I'm going to go to remembering our X coordinates across the bottom um, a 480 across and 360 high. 480 across is the X values and 360 high. And we know that the center of the screen where my little mouse pointer is now is 0, 0. So we're going to send this to X equals 66 and Y equals 33. And let's have a look at what happens when I click that and see what happens. Um, there it is, that's that position. Um, whatever I put in here for the X and the Y coordinates determines where the little ball is going to go. So like I said before, if I made this 0, sorry, 0, 0, it's going to go to 0, 0. Okay, so we're going to make it, like I said, go to 6633. So I'm going to put it up in that top right-hand corner. So now you know what that block does. We're going to get the point in direction block. And I'm going to grab that block and I'm going to put it down here. This will become clear what this does in, in a moment. Um, so at the moment it's set to 90. And then I'm going to get my event block again and I'm going to pick a when clicked as well. Bring it down here. And I am going to get a um, control block which is a forever block with this one here. And I'm going to grab a move 10 steps, so a move block. There it is there. Move 10 steps. And a weight block, which is uh, a control block. Weight 0.01. So I'm going to set that to um, weight 0.01. And then I'm going to get if on edge bounce, which is, I think, a motion block as well. Let's find it. If on the edge bounce. It should be on this. Look towards. Go to. If on edge bounce. It's this one here. Okay. And we're going to stick all of that in our forever loop. And pop it on our when clicked. So let's have a look at what this does now. If we click on this button here. Off we go, tied to side, boing, boing, boing. Now what happens if I change this weight? I actually don't know what will happen. Um, so let's change that to um, one second and hit go. So what that's doing, that parameter is actually determining the speed. So we step 10 steps, wait a little while. So now because we've made the weight longer, the ball travels slower. Okay, so we know what that parameter does now, and I know what it does. I didn't know what it did before, but I do now because I played with the code. 0.01 gives me a nice bounce speed. And then, um, what, what, well, now you're saying that's great, but what happens if I wanted to bounce in different directions? Um, uh, okay, so what we need to do with that then is we change this direction here. So if I make that 180 down 
and I hit the start again, it'll bounce this way. And then if I change the angle here to um, 190 and hit start again, watch what happens. Now we get a little bit of a, a bounce happening. So um, this is a very, very simple bounce program. I imagine that if we place some control mechanism inside this forever loop, we could control that bounce. And if you had a basketball game, you could write some code so that when it hits the basket, you win a point. So that's a very, very simple bounce program. I hope that's helpful to somebody. I know there's someone in the class working on a, a basketball code. Um, but have a go at it and um, have a play with it. And if you have any questions, um, we can maybe work it out together. Thank you. I'll just stop recording now. Bye.